Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab Very important for us to realize and to benefit from another blessed time which is recommended for us to fast and this is the Som Shar Allah Al Muharram and this we are in it's the last month of the Hijri calendar and may Allah bless us and bless you to be able to fast during this time and in regards to this the ulama they say yustahab som shar Allah al haram wa hadha bi ittifaq al madhahib al fiqhiya al arba hanafiya wa malikiya wa shafi'iya wa hanabila so the four imams the fuqaha and their madhhabs are in agreement that it is recommended to fast during this holy month. And some of the evidence for this is a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu yarfa'uhu qal su'ila ay an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ay as-salat afdal ba'd al-maktuba وأي الصوم أفضل بعد شهر رمضان؟ فقال أفضل صلاة بعد الصلاة المكتوبة صلاة في جوف الليل وأفضل الصوم بعد شهر رمضان صوم شهر الله المحرم. أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه said and he said that we I I asked or that it was asked meaning it was asked to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which, fa uh, which uh, prayer or salat is the best after the obligatory salat and which fast is better after the fast of the holy month of Ramadan and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the best prayer after the obligatory prayer is the prayer during the uh, in the the depths of the night, and the best fast after the fast of Ramadan is the fast of the uh, during Muharram, which is the last of the last month on the Hijri calendar, which is now. The ulama say Som Yom Ashura was Siam Yom Qablaha. قبله. The ulama say that it is recommended to fast the day of Ashura. The day of Ashura, uh, it is the tenth day of of Dhul, uh, of, of uh, Muharram, the tenth of Muharram. So the tenth of this month, and it is recommended to fast uh, the tenth and the day b uh, before it. And which means the ninth from uh, Muharram, and this is by agreement uh, in a this is in accordance with the consensus of the four uh, madhahib fiqhia, fiqhia, meaning the Hanafis, the Malikiya, and the Shafi'iya, and the Hanabila. And some of the evidence for that. عن أبي قتا عن أبي قتادة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صيام يوم عشورة أحتسب على الله أن يكفر السنة التي قبله. أبي قتادة رضي الله تعالى عنه said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said fasting the day of عشورة that a person will see the reward for a, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will expiate the year before it, the, the previous year. And on Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma qal qal rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la in baqayt ila qabil ila qabili la yisumanna attasi' Uh, Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said if I am alive in the 
uh, next year, next year, then I would fast the ninth, letting us know, ayah al-ahbab, the istahbab, or the recommendation to fast the ninth and the tenth of Muharram. And so many ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrate this for us. And from some of those hadith to also <clears throat> uh, verify for us, we have in the hadith in Sahih Muslim, uh, Abd uh, Rahman reported that he heard Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan radiallahu ta'ala anhu uh, delivering a sermon in Medina. And this is when he came there for Hajj. He delivered a sermon on the day of Ashura and said, People of Medina, where are your scholars? I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say on this very day, It is the day of Ashura. Allah has not made fasting on this day obligatory for you, but I am fasting. He who likes to observe fast among you should do so. And he who likes not to observe it may not observe it. Letting us know, ayah al-ahbab, that it is mustahab, it is recommended, but it of course is not an obligation. And on Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, who said, he reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Medina, he found the Jews observing the fast on the day of Ashura. They, the Jews, were asked about it, and they said, it is the day on which Allah granted victory to Moses and his people, Bani Israel, over the Pharaoh. And we observe fast out of gratitude to him. Upon this, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, we have a closer connection with Moses than you have. And he commanded to observe fast on this day. So again, ayah al-ahbab, as we've mentioned countless times, al that when we have a command, the origin of that command is that it's an obligation. Unless there is other evidence which shows that it moves from being an obligation to something which is recommended or one of the other ahkam uh, from the ahkam al khamsa. Here we have ayah al-ahbab, we have in this hadith that the Prophet sallallahu he commanded to observe fast on this day. So al-amr yufid al-wujub. The fact that it's a command, it shows that it's an obligation. But then, ayol ahbab, when we look at the other evidences we just presented, we show that there are many other ahadith and narrations of the salaf, meaning the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, which show that uh, it's also, that it, that it moves from being an obligation to a uh, something that is recommended that you will get adjur, adjur for it and that it is not an obligation. So, ayah al that's just an important lesson uh, in fiqh, uh, in a sul of fiqh, which can illustrate for us the importance of how to derive uh, rulings, or how the ulama derive rulings, because obviously for you and I, that is not our uh, place. Bi'idhnillah. Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu was asked about observing observing a fast on the day of Ashura, whereupon he said, I do not know Allah's Messenger وسلم, singing out any day's fast and considering it more excellent than another except this day, meaning the day of Ashura, and this month, meaning the month of Ramadan. And in another hadith, <clears throat> on Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said, Ibn Abbas reported, that when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasted on the day of Ashura and commanded that it should be observed as a fast, they, his companion, said to him, Messenger of Allah, it is a day which the Jews and the Christians hold in high esteem. Thereupon the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, when the next year comes, inshallah, we would observe fast on the ninth. But the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died before the advent of the next year sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself uh, and, and the shaytan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam